What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. Drop down below, there's some stuff in the description to check out too. But uh, in general, today we're gonna be talking about techniques uh, that can be used to bless your listeners. And I'm gonna use as a template my previous video I, I just released, Ashokan Farewell and Battle Hymn of the Republic. It was a mashup of the two. Now in that video, I used quite a few techniques that help take a song to the next level. And those techniques are what I'm going to show you today. So first off, what we're going to do is just play the melody of Ashokan Farewell, just blank slate, nothing added to it, very, very boring. And you can see how it's uh, not very interesting to listen to. So that's the melody of Ashokan Farewell, and it's very, it's actually kind of interesting, regardless, because I love the melody, but when we add stuff to it, that's when it starts to get really fun. Now the first thing that we can add to our music to take it up a notch is what we call ornamentation. So some of the ornamentation that's commonly used in, in guitar music are hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, vibrato, note bends, there's quite a few. And I can start adding some into this melody here and we'll see how it sounds after that. So there's a lot of things happening there. There's a lot of combinations of different ornaments, ornamentation going on. So we take an average melody and up at a notch by adding this ornamentation to it. Now the second thing we can do to take our melodies or playing to the next level is what's called dynamics and articulation. Dynamics is how you vary the volume of your play and articulation is stuff like staccato where you're you're not letting the note ring out indefinitely, you can just stop it. So let me, let me try and show you what it sounds like when we don't add any dynamics to a melody. And you'll see how fun it is. It won't be much fun. It, it honestly sounds like what you hear out of like a first grade child learning to play. And that's, you know, they're just trying to get the notes right. And so we want to take it to the next level where we add some, you know, flow to the to the volume of the melody. Um, so here, let me let me let me show you what that sounds like. And and you'll get to see how just adding dynamics in really changes things a little bit. So I accidentally added in some other stuff in there, but you can hear the, the flow to the volume. It's going up and down, and you're adding volume at areas where you want to increase the impact of those notes. Now, I also mentioned articulation. So here, let me, let me show you what I mean. I keep adding in other things, sorry, it's, it's just force of habit. But articulation, it, it really just adds a little bit more extra. You know, if you're trying to give a punch to a note, that punch um, can help articulate it. I mean, it's the word is itself what it's accomplishing. All right, the third thing we're, we can do to really add some flair to a melody is using harmonics. When you pluck a string, it's normally vibrating up and down like this. But if you stop the vibration in the middle, the string will start doing this. And so you get a note that's one octave higher than, uh, well, in the case of a 12th fret harmonic, one octave higher than, um, than the note that's being played. You can really add 
a lot to a melody when you when you just add in a harmonic at a right moment right moment so in that video that i am referring to the the ashokan farewell video that i did there's a, a key moment where i actually add in that harmonic and it really i think takes the, the melody up more impactful as it were <laughs> harmonic actually gives me the ability to then play over top of it while it rings out. If I was to just play that note here or here, I would have to stop that note from ringing out to then continue with my with my melody. But because I played a harmonic, I can actually continue without having to break that note. So that's one more one more way we can really add some flair to our playing. I'm sure there's endless items we could go to on this topic, but the final thing that we're gonna talk about today is fretboard tapping. And you saw this with like rockers in the 80s, you know, where they would... You know, I'm not, I'm not a aficionado at that, but one thing you can do to really amp up your playing it at a key moment in the song is is you know slam the note with your finger instead of plucking it it has a totally different sound and if you do it at a point on the neck where there's a harmonic then you get a whole other sound in my video i actually was able to use that at a key moment yeah so Adding that in really, really takes it up another level as well. All right, so those are the four techniques that we're gonna talk about today. You can use each and every one of these techniques to take a melody or a, a section of a song and take it up to the next level. Um, again, those are ornamentation, dynamics and articulation, harmonics and fretboard tapping. These are just a few things you can add to your playing. If you're composing music or if you are, um, even if you're playing in the background, you can use some of these things to just add a little bit extra to the to the music to really communicate what you're trying to get across. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions at all, listen, I'm, I'm all ears right now. Jump down to the comment section. Uh, leave a comment. If you have a question, leave a comment. If you just have a general point you'd like to make, hey, you, you actually aren't good at guitar. <laughs> you can leave that comment too if, you, if you'd like. But if you would like to take your skills to the next level, and, and even if you're a beginner, you haven't even started playing yet, and if you're advanced, I think this uh, webinar I put together can actually help you get to the next level. In the description below, there's a link for that. Click the link and I'll see you over there. Um, but until then, have a great week and happy playing.